Hey guys, so what I wanted to do today is just uh, show you this um, Vendetta PCB which has, uh, it's got a problem with the sprites, uh, if I just power it on briefly and if you catch a glimpse of any of the mess in the room I apologise <laughs> this is my like workstation and yeah it's not the best um, but yeah if I just credit it up here you can see down here there's like jail bars on the sprites now usually well this can be down to several things it can be RAM, it can be a ROM um, it can be let's have a look here um, in this particular case it's this ROM here um, and I know that thanks to the um, the test menu on Konami games uh, you got a little ROM check there uh, press uh, the A button and it'll run through its little uh, tests it'll go through all the ROMs and see if they're all okay or not and it just takes a moment maybe a moment longer than that <laughs> I hope the battery lasts okay so yeah it said there that it's bad and it basically gets no reading off it whatsoever uh, that to the right of it I believe is the checksum uh, CRC 16 or maybe some 16 I don't know but anyway it's saying that it can't read that one at all and 3k is this one here like I said before um, so basically with this um, it can either be the ROM itself uh, it could be a through hole that comes from uh, somewhere else to the ROM um, the fact that it can't read anything off it at all doesn't look particularly good uh, and in fact when I hit it with a probe um, it turns out that none of the data lines are doing anything they're just all completely off um, the address lines will do uh, something because the address lines are also connected to this ROM and this ROM um, so it, it can be a little misleading you can be you can sort of think oh well if they're doing something then I guess the ROM's okay but if you check the data lines and it's doing nothing um, and like you know the the chip enable lines are there then yeah there's a good chance that it's screwed basically um, so in this case this is a uh, uh, it's an 8 megabit 16-bit uh, EP-ROM and uh, this particular one is the equivalent of a uh, it's actually not an EP-ROM, it's a mask ROM, sorry you can tell it's a mask ROM because it's got no little window um, but yeah basically uh, this one's an equivalent of a 27C800 um, and I didn't actually happen to have any lying around I've, all I had was this uh, 27C322 which is a uh, 32 megabit EP-ROM in fact um, but this will work just fine um, in place of this uh, because obviously it's four times bigger than this but then basically what you just do is you copy the file to itself four times so you sort of stack it on end four times and then write it to the ROM and you can just drop it in to replace this um, now another cool little thing you can do um, let's just get out of this uh, test menu don't need to be in here anymore uh, so I'll shove some coins in again and if you watch that down here see if I can do this with one hand you may be able to see something changing Uh, it's difficult to do with one hand. Ah, come on. Oh. Bop. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if you noticed, but uh, there's no glitches anywhere on the screen now. And all I've done is actually just laid this EP ROM over the top of the original mask ROM. And that works just fine. Uh, just it just completely takes over the chip, really. And considering the one underneath is not doing anything anyway, it's not causing any harm. Um, but yeah, if I just take that off again, and do it with one hand and not cause any problems, and boom, there you go. 
the problem comes back again. And the interesting thing is, if you sort of like look at the space between these two here, it's pretty much, you know, you've got one, two, three, that sort of spacing. And if you look at how many ROMs there are, you've got one, two, and three. And obviously being completely black, you can tell that the ROM's not doing anything. Um, so yeah, that's just a little uh, sort of tidbit, I guess. Um, what I'm going to do over the next uh, few weeks is I'm going to be uploading quite a few videos on repairs and whatnot. Um, and hopefully it will be of use to someone and hopefully the video quality will be a bit better than this one because I just sort of decided to do this in five minutes. But yeah, that's Vendetta. Um, not really all that keen on this game. Mm, not sure who produced it, but well, I know it's a Konami game, but I'm not sure who headed it up or anything. Um, but that's not the point really, is it? Um, yeah, so anyway, uh, that's how you can fix um, a sprite problem, or uh, at least one of the ways you can do it. Um, these chips here, these um, translate or buffer data to these chips, and these are video processors, and then you've got a video RAM up here. This can be at fault as well in some situations. Um, you can have missing address lines on the, on the EP-ROM, like again through uh, either these chips or a, a trace that's been nicked on the other side or you know a um, a plated through hole that's gone bad which is kind of common for these Konami boards as well um, all of the above for these Konami boards actually but there's lots of different reasons um, and hopefully over the next few weeks we'll be covering some of them so if you're into that sort of thing or you've got a few arcade boards you, you want fixed up keep watching and uh, hopefully we'll be able to get you sorted out so that's all for now and I'll upload another video soon.